tutorial on how to edit a product using WooCommerce in WordPress. So first I'm going to go to the products and I'll click on products and I'm going to see the product that we have listed here. I can just click edit. You'll see the SKU, the price, the category, the tags. And when I come here I'll see the name of the product. Nothing will go in this box. I can click on visual. Nothing will go in this box necessarily. If I add content in this box here that says what will happen if I add content here. This is in the box up above. This is where it's going to show up. So here's the product. This is the short description. That's where that shows. There's the price. There's the size. Large, medium, and small. Um, there's the category and tags. You don't necessarily need those. The product description will show up down here. So if we have more information about the product, that's where it will show up. What will, what will happen if I add content here? Now I'll come down here to product data. This is a variable product. Um, it could be a simple product. Um, right now it's set to be variable. The SKU is in the general. That's where you put in just the item number. And inventory I can select. I turned on inventory by going over to WooCommerce and clicking on settings. So inventory has been turned on and this is how to modify it if you want to track inventory. When I clicked on inventory, you'll now see that I have an enabled stock management at product level. Currently this product has 25 items. Uh, we're not allowing back orders and so that's how that will work. If I go down to attributes and I click on size, so we can manage stock here. So small, if I click on manage stock, it will then give me an option to give me quantity for small. So I could say, well, we got five small. For medium, I click that one and I manage stock. And for stock quantity on that one, we have 10. And on large, I click on that one. Yes, manage stock quantity. And that one we have 20. So then I'd scroll back up to the very top of the page. Come over here and click update. And that's how you manage inventory. Uh, shipping, this is set. Linked products, that's we're not going to worry about that right now. Attributes, this is an important one, especially for clothing. Here we have size and color. I can click on size and it will drop down and I can put in the values. Now I can move these around. So I'm going to delete that one and that one and that one. I'm going to type in small, medium, just put them in the right order. Large. For now we'll just do those three. And then I'll save the attributes. And then I click on variations. And here it will say small. And I can change the price based on the size for example. So small is it set to $50. I could put it on sale. I could schedule it. Let's say it's going to go on sale for $40 and I'm going to schedule it at a, a certain date to start and a certain date to end. Uh, I'm not going to do that for now but that's how I could do that. Um, medium again there's $50. These are all priced the same and large $50 and there's a sale price. And then I could add a variation, I'm not going to do that. And I scroll down, the product short description, that's where I put in the description about the product. And the pictures, I'll go here, featured image, the product gallery if there's different. So featured image is what's gonna show up on the main page itself. And the product gallery will be different pictures to show maybe different angles or um, whatever for that particular product. Then I scroll all the way back up to the top. I select the category it's going to be in. In this case, this is women's apparel. And I've already published it. So in this case, I'm just gonna click update. And that is how we edit a product in WordPress using WooCommerce.